welcome back to cad cam tutorial today we are going to assemble or start new project we are going to sketch a new project in solidworks it is it is a kind of clamp for mechanical clamp so we will in this tutorial we will sketch each and every part and we will do assembly at the end at the final i hope you will like this projects that let's start and let's see how to sketch in solidworks Now we will make part 1 for bench clamp so let's start choose front plane sketch Now select a line and start from origin point Now exit from the line. Now we will assign dimension. Assign 205 mm, 15 mm, 25 mm. Twenty mm, sixty mm, twenty mm, and this width fifteen mm. So this is the dimension. This one no need, I think. Now our sketch is fully defined, so select extruded boss, choose mid plane, select 100 mm, ok. Now select this face, sketch, select normal and we will sketch one small circle here from midpoint and assign the diameter. 18 mm and distance here to top 40 mm ok now select extruded cut we want to cut through all select ok now select this face sketch normal choose corner rectangle uh, first select center line and draw one center line now select one corner rectangle and draw one corner rectangle ok Select dimension forty two mm and keep from one side it's uh, equal both direction. Okay, select extruded cut and select here up to surface and select this surface ok now see now select this surface sketch normal first we will draw one mid center line now exit and select circle and draw some small small circles here draw two circles the same as here Now 
now assign dimension so first take this one now assign dimension diameter 6 mm ok now distance from here to this line keep 17 mm and distance here to vertical line 22 point horizontal line 22.5 mm now the same as defined this also diameter keep 15 mm outside and inside keep 8 mm and distance from here to this circle keep 59.5 mm and distance from center to this line keep 35 mm okay now select this inside circle hold shift key this circle make equal the same as here outside circle and this outside circle make equal now it's equal distance also keep the same keep 12.5 mm from midpoint keep 35 mm select ok now select all the lines choose mirror select all the circles choose mirror about and select this line now we want to make a mirror so select ok now we want to make cutout but first we just exit from the sketch and select this circle hold shift key select all inside circles only now select extruded cut choose through all select ok now the holes are created see select this show now select outside circle and select extruded cut and choose up to 5 mm only select ok this is not selected select this out circle ok now hide now see just keep perspective so it will be more visible now we will assign color uh, we will assign some let's see which color is suitable Okay, let's assign this color. Okay. Now save it as a part one desktop.
now let's move for part 2 now we will make part 2 it's a bolt for a bench clamp so let's start choose front plane sketch select line and start from origin point okay Now exit from the line. Now we will assign dimension. Keep 155 mm. Select 16 mm. Keep 20 mm. and select this one 53 mm and distance from here to this point keep 7 mm select 2 mm now this line keep 20 mm okay now select this all upper layers and choose collinear this all in same direction the same as downward also collinear as well as choose equal 2 mm 2 mm again choose dimension keep 9 mm okay now this center line select as a construction geometry now select revolve boss base select yes click ok now choose chamfer 3 mm and select this both the ends ok now again choose chamfer this time select 2 and select this end ok now select front plane sketch normal choose circle and draw one circle in midpoint and keep diameter 6 mm and distance from one end keep 10 mm Select extruded boss, choose mid plane and we want to cut, we want to make a hole so select through all, ok. Now we want to show here thread so select here cosmetic thread. is not looking so just go to insert so go to annotation and here see cosmetic thread now a window come select this one end and keep 17 mm and up select up to next a standard anything you can choose select metric or choose ISO select this edge and this edge
और वी ऑलरेडी सेलेक्टेड अप टू नेक्स सो सेलेक्ट ओके नाउ द थ्रेड्स आर क्रिएटेड बट नॉट लुकिंग सो जस्ट गो टू ऑप्शन डॉक्यूमेंट्स डिटेलिंग क्लिक हियर शेडेड कॉस्मेटिक थ्रेड ओके नाउ सी कीप ऑलवेज पर्स्पेक्टिव नाउ दिस इज द बोल्ड वी विल असाइन ए कलर ओके दिस इज द बोल्ड फॉर बेंच क्लैम नाउ सेव इट एज ए पार्ट टू इन बेंच क्लैम सेव इट नाउ वी विल गो फॉर पार्ट नंबर थर्ड now we are going to make part number 3 so let's start choose front plane sketch now select corner rectangle and draw one rectangle from origin point now assign dimension 150 mm and this side 25 mm now select circle and draw one circle up to end point and assign this diameter 30 mm okay choose trim entity select center part okay now choose fillet sketch fillet keep radius 20 mm select this end select okay okay now select circle and draw two circles from midpoint and assign dimension diameter 8 mm and this one 6 mm and distance from here to this line keep 12 mm and both center distance key 45.5 mm okay now select this center point and this center point make horizontal now assign distance from here to ground 12.5 mm that's it now select extruded boss choose mid plane and width we want 54 mm okay now select chamfer select 10 mm this end okay again choose chamfer select 5 mm and select both the ends okay now select this top surface sketch normal choose corner rectangle and draw one rectangle and we will assign dimension 12 mm from one end the same as 12 mm from other end and from here to outer keep 34 mm now go to feature select extruded cut we want to cut through all select okay now this one of our part is ready now we will assign a color this color we will choose for it select okay now save it as a part number 3 now let's go for part number 2 this is the part number 3 for clamp now we are going to make part number 5 so select front plane sketch 
select line and start from origin point now exit now select this all mirror entities now this make become mirror now assign dimension 70 mm center distance 54 mm and distance from here to this line 49.5 mm now select one line and make one line here exit now select this line hold shift key and select this line and make equal okay now select extruded box now select mid plane select 25 mm okay now choose fillet and choose fillet round fillet now select one by one one face second face third face okay again choose fillet first face second face and third face okay now select this face sketch normal select circle and draw one circle in midpoint assign diameter 8 mm select extruded cut choose through all okay now select this bottom face sketch normal draw one vertical line select this line as a construction now choose circle and draw two circles assign diameter 10 mm and a smaller one keep 6 mm and distance from here to this end keep 18 mm okay now select this all three parts just click mirror entity now it's become mirror now just exit from the sketch select this sketch select both the internal circles select extruded cut and choose through all okay now just click on that and click show now it is showing so select both the outer circle select extruded cut and select only cut up to 5 mm depth okay just click it hide now see this our inside holes created now select color uh this okay let's put uh, yellow color okay now save it as a part number 4 so let's go for another part now we will make part number 5 so select front plane sketch draw two circles from origin point now assign dimension the bigger one keep 36 mm and the smaller one keep 
six mm only. Okay, select extruded boss. Choose mid plane and select 30 mm. And uh, we will assign some color. Let's say red color. Okay, now save it as a part number 5. Now we will make part number 5. So part number 6, select front plane, sketch, select line and start from origin point. Now exit from the line. Now assign dimension 60 mm, the vertical distance 50 mm, 15 mm, and this vertical distance 30 mm. Now select extruded boss, choose mid plane, and select 42 mm okay select this face sketch normal select circle and draw one circle in in midpoint assign diameter 18 mm and distance from here to bottom line keep 25 mm now we will extrude this hole extruded cut not through all, we will keep only up to 40 mm, not through all. Okay. Now see, it is uh, not up to through all. Assign a color. Okay. Now save it, part number 6, this is the moving block, we will make part number 7, a screw handle, so let's select front plane, a sketch, draw one circle, keep diameter 6 mm. Select extruded bo boss mid plane. Keep length 85 mm. Okay. Select this end, choose sketch. And select circle and draw one big circle. Assign diameter 10 mm. Select extruded boss. Keep 5 mm only. Okay. Now just mirror this. Select front plane. Okay. Now we will assign color. Orange. Okay. And save it as a part number 7. Now this is handle for a screw, a screw jack for a, to rotate the our screw jaw. We created six parts for a bench clamp. Now let's start assembly. So select new, choose assembly, OK. Now browse the parts. Select all seven parts. Open. change background so it looks nice right click this body it is already fixed
now select mat choose this circle and select this hole okay now select this inside part select back side okay now select advanced mat choose width select this end and select this end the same as here select this end select this end okay now select standard mat select this face this face choose parallel okay now select this face and this circle as a concentric okay move it top select this sur outer upper surface and lower surface of this part okay now this is fixed now select this end and this end okay select this hole and this hole okay now see it is moving up and down now select this end mat another end okay select inside circle and select the circle of this roller okay now the same as here select this inside hole and this rod okay now we want to fix this rod this is part number 7 part number 7 okay choose front plane and part number press control and select part front plane of this part we selected both the front plane of both the part part number 7 and part number 2 select mat see it is mat select okay okay see it is rotating this screw along with the position now we will fix another part now select mat choose this face and the bottom face of this block okay now select this roller face and this upper face as a tangent okay now select this face and this blocks this face okay now see it's moving now just go to section view okay now we want to make some relation choose mat select this inside face and this face keep distance 36 mm and here keep 0 mm select okay okay now it will not move more than that
select this hole and select this ok choose mechanical select screw distance keep 4 mm select ok ok now this unchecked now our bench clamp is ready now let's move the bench clamp see it is moving or even you can move with the help of this so this is the our bench clamp fantastic bench clamp i hope this project is good for the beginners and newcomers and i hope they will like it this is actually bench clamp please subscribe our channel for more videos and more projects in solid works thanks for watching